Hi everybody, in this video we're going to do pro tip number four for the PTZ producer and we're going to show you how to use the HC Joy, the joystick to control multiple cameras and really set it up and optimize it perfectly. Coming up next. Okay, so the PTZ producer kits are turnkey live streaming systems that PTZ Optics offers to make live streaming simple. It includes everything you need with a PTZ camera, a joystick controller, frame grabbers, a hundred foot of cabling, all of your audio, and a super fast computer with Windows 10, 32 gigabytes of RAM, a 250 gigabyte solid state hard drive, and it's just a powerhouse. We've done a bunch of pro tips on the Intel Nook. Now I want to do some pro tips on the joystick. So here's the joystick here. I have it set up to control two cameras. So there's cam one, that's cam two, and here's cam one. So you can control uh, like hundreds of cameras. Most of our customers use uh, two cameras. Um, so it's very easy to do and very easy to switch between cam one and cam two and set up presets. So I want to give you guys a couple tips here. One is I want to show you a clip of how I set up my joystick systems when I go out and live stream a concert or an event. So as you can see here, what I do is I set up camera one and camera two with a little notepad. And the way you can use this is you can see, see it says cam one cam 001 there and then cam 002 that's how you know which camera you're operating so in order to set up presets for that camera you got to make sure that camera is selected you hit set preset the number and then enter and then what, what I would suggest this is kind of our pro tip here is to write down where that preset is because sometimes the numbers you forget and what you can do is you can just go ahead and pan tilt zoom the camera to another location hit set and then hit two and then enter. Now number two has been saved as your next preset. So we just go through this process here, you know, while I'm setting up a shot, just get up the angles, make sure you have a, a monitor so you can see the camera really well and see where you're setting it. And just go through, it's very easy to set up hundreds of presets. Um, we set up a stage, a podium, maybe a wide angle shot, and uh, you can just kind of pan, tilt the camera exactly where you want it, hit the number and then set, and then you have set those. So uh, we can go through, I'm gonna do five presets here for camera one. Uh, you know, you can do five presets for camera two. You can do as many presets as you really, your heart desires. You can do hundreds of them. And um, when you when it's time to call the presets, I believe I do this here in this, this quick video or else I can do it right here in front of everybody is, um, all right, so let's yeah, let's go switch back to my my normal view. I don't want to bore everybody, but that's a simple pro tip there. So now let me just show you really quickly here. Is it so here I'm on cam two, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit set one, enter. So I've set a preset. Now I'll just move it a little bit, and now when I call that preset, that camera is going to move uh, to the preset that I set. So I hit call one, enter, and now it goes to there. So there's call mode and there's set mode, and you need to hit the escape button to get out of those modes. Because when you're in call mode, you want to call preset one, call preset two, call preset three. You know, you're in that mode and you're just doing it, and you still have PTZ control. So the setup mode is done first. You set all those presets and you're done with that mode. Hit escape, get out of there, then be in the call mode. And you can still switch um, cameras and cam one, cam two, cam three, cam four. But once you select your camera, you get in the call mode. And again, if I can still PTZ it, and I can go to preset one, two, three, four, whatever, save. So that is our pro tip there. I wanna show you the cabling really quickly. Um, these cameras are gonna include, all the PTZ producers include a 100 foot of HD SDI cabling to get your video all the way back, and either DB9 or RS-232 Cascade. Now I wanna explain the difference here, so let me show you our website. Um, DB9 extends the first cable from the joystick to your camera. And Cascade cable, if we scroll down a little bit, here's the HD-SDI that comes with it, high-grade plenum rated cabling. The Cascade cable, that goes from the first camera to the second, the second camera to the third. So let me show it to you right here in front of me here. I'm going to kind of unplug some things so I can really show you everything. First of all, this is the DB9 cable. So the DB9 cable goes from DB9 to 8-pin mini-DIN. 
So this, act this cable actually is included with every camera. DB9 to 8-pin mini DIN. Now what we want to do is if we, if we have the camera 100 feet away, here's a DB9 cable here, we extend DB9, it's DB9 male to male, male to female, and it goes from the joystick all the way to here, and we still use this included DB9 to 8-pin mini DIN cable to plug in to the first camera right here. So it plugs right in to the to the cat the first RS232 in. Now on the second cable we would use this is an 8 pin mini din to 8 pin mini din. So there's two 8 pin mini dins. Now this is a short one footer. You would get a hundred footer if, if you choose the secondary camera add-on. And I can just plug that right in to the 8 pin mini din in. And then on the second camera you can see here there's an 8 pin mini din in and out. So I apologize it's a little hard to see but that is the way it works, and that's how you can control multiple cameras in a daisy chain cascade. We have other videos on operation, but I think that was a great pro tip for the PTZ producer. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more great tips from PTZ Optics. Click to watch another exciting PTZ Optics video, and don't forget to subscribe. Tune in Fridays at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern, to join our live show with new industry experts interviewed every week.